Alright, hey everybody, welcome back. This is Hotline Miami, Chapter 1. Last time we did the prelude, so we're going to move on to Chapter 1. We've been mucking around with the game a bit, so I can't continue. We'll just go one chapter at a time. So you can see I played the game before. I did mention it last time. So we've got all the masks to choose from. You can see the rating from the last time as well. A minus, not bad. See if you can do better if you play the game yourself. That's right, in your face. A minus. <laughs> Shoot through some walls. All right, here we go. So who should we be? Secret stuff, Fist of Fury, more guns, lethal doors, walk fast. That comes in handy. You, you need to be able to get out of danger sometimes. These guys move pretty quick. Start with the knife. That's pretty good. Look further when you hold down shift. The dogs don't attack you. Man, the dogs later in the game, they are, they are fucking irritating. Let's just say that. Survive a bullet, that'll come in handy. Extra ammo, grip and steel. Quieter guns, that's good. Longer combos, obviously score more. Darkness, don't remember that one. Good shot, nice, walk faster. Hard to spot, oh! You know what, we're gonna go with that. I like not being able to be seen in this game because uh, it gives you a pretty good advantage. Now I mentioned last time how the game's kind of inspired by Drive. Now if you haven't seen that movie, you should know that it's pretty fucking slow. It's kind of glacially slow at times, so it's kind of funny that such a fast-paced, really violent game is based on such a slow-ass movie. That's not to say it's bad, but uh, for a 90-minute movie, it feels like three days. Alright. Try not to get mouse handed to me too soon. Oh, not bad, outmaneuvered him. I gotta be honest with you, that was pretty lucky. Alright. Now there's a few just minor details about Drive that sort of show up in this game, like in that movie, Ryan Gosling wears a pretty sweet looking white jacket that has a scorpion on it. And in this game, you're more or less just called Jacket. So you got the knife there. How about the shotgun? And uh, there's a few scenes in Drive that uh, they might surprise you because it's pretty violent, but very briefly. Like it's not an action movie, but when it cooks up, there's some pretty rough stuff in it. You know, Ryan Gosling stamps on a guy and crushes his head. And uh, you do a bit of that in this game, so you can see that in a really superficial way, the creators of this game kind of love that stuff about the movie. So you just blasted that guy all over the floor, and this guy on the couch doesn't give a fuck. Look, you can see him bleed. Oh no! Ah, oh, Rob! What are you doing? Alright, we're gonna try that again. And as you can see, you gotta do a, a bit of that again, so we'll try not to be such a fuck up this time. Too busy mouthing off about drive. Ah, oh, look at that! Getting owned again. Alright. This time it's going to be great. What are you going to do? <sighs> yep. That's pretty much this game in a nutshell. I mean, if you're not having any fun, you can pretty much tune out now because it's not going to get much different. There we go. So. If you pay a bit more attention to where people are, maybe have a look around a little bit more. Don't act like such a fool. Maybe I might survive more than one life, but we'll see. Love these doors, man. They have never see it coming. Whoa, look at that. Machine gun. 24 rounds. Okay, we'll say it's an assault rifle. But what are you going to do? I'm in Australia, we don't have guns here. I got a shitload of Nerf guns, how about that? Oh, look at that! Never saw it coming, especially the guy on the couch. Oh! 
Ah, uh, you know what? That's never gonna get old. That's the second time I've been caught with my dick out celebrating about how good I am at this game. I hope you're having fun watching, because, uh... There's gonna be a lot of that. Now, uh, if you're a... If you're a YouTube viewer, or you watch stuff on YouTube like I do, then, uh, I gotta say, you should check out a channel called Errant Signal. Because, uh... Hamster, as he goes by, he does a fucking sweet breakdown of this game and uh, exactly what makes it work and sort of goes into a lot of detail about the overall style of sort of kinesthetics in games. I'm gonna hide around the corner because last time they saw me coming. There you go, motherfucker. Yeah, so check out Aaron Signal. He's he does good videos about video games and goes into a lot of like critical analysis about games and you often don't see that. I mean, there's a shitload of videos online about video games because people love them obviously. You're here watching me. But uh not a lot of critical analysis. A lot of I love this and that makes it good. And that's no way to review stuff. Okay, I see one scumbag on the couch there. Do you reckon we can surprise him? Maybe if I actually lock on, that'll help. Oh yeah! Chapter clear! So what, only took about six or seven attempts? You can probably count at home. So we gotta get back to the car. Now you'll often see tiny little pixels in the game. They kind of stand out usually because they're a bright color. And if you collect them all, it'll unlock an extra ending. Or the secret password to get the extra ending. So we'll see if we can spot those along the way because I didn't get them all the first time around. Often too busy trying to survive. Let's see how we did. Yeah, not bad. Probably done way better. Let's see what I get. Ah, B! That's not as good as an A minus, so, uh, yeah, obviously I've done way better at that. Playstyle is generic. Ugh. Never want to be known as generic. That's terrible. See what this guy has to say. Oh, look, it's my mate. He knows my order. Oh, God. It's a little bit like real life. Uh, see, look, I've never got free food, but, uh, yeah, there's a few places around here where I live that, uh, probably know me better than they should. There we go, so we're into the next few days of the game, so... Back at the apartment. New messages on the phone. You always communicate through messages. Thomas. Righto. So yeah, getting my next mission. Always with these messages at home, like... I wake up from... Doing one crime. Don't even play my Nintendo. And then just get in the DeLorean and drive to the next joint. Okay, we're at the second chapter, so we might leave it there for now. But uh, we'll definitely be back soon. So yeah, check out Aaron Signal. And uh, if you haven't already, maybe watch Drive, because uh, we're going to probably crap on about that movie a little bit more the next time. So yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon!